Hello and welcome back. In the previous lecture we've added the moment.js library to our project, so we can now display how long ago each story was submitted. In this lecture we'll see how to add infinite scroll and pull to refresh functionality. So what are these and why do we want them? Well, at this point our app is looking pretty good, but it has one major limitation. And that's that when we call the JSON API from Reddit, we get a fixed number of stories. In fact, we get 25 stories and that's it. We have no way to display newer stories as time goes on, or if we want to see more stories scrolling back in time, again, we have no way to do that. So what is infinite scroll? Infinite scroll means that when the user scrolls to the bottom of the currently available stories, we should go and fetch older stories automatically and add them to our list so that the user can, can keep scrolling back in time. And what is pull to refresh? Well, it's a bit like the Twitter app and means that when you're at the top, you can scroll down and that will go and fetch newer stories and add them to the front of the list. So how do we go about using this functionality then? Well, first of all, we need to understand a bit better what we can do with the JSON API provided by Reddit. So let's go and look at the Reddit API documentation and we can see that we can pass an after or before parameter that indicates the full name of an item in the listing to use as the anchor point. So what does this mean? Let's look at some sample data. This is from the Android subreddit. You can see that by default we get 25 items or 25 stories. And these are the most recent 25 stories. And also on each item we get a name. And this is the full name referred to in the documentation. It's called the full name because it has this T3 prefix. While there's an ID that's the same but without the prefix and T3 is the kind of this object, where T3 means a link. Other Reddit objects are things like subreddits and users and so on. But we're not particularly interested in that. All we need to know is that we can use this full name as the before or after parameter. So what does before and after means? Before means give me the items that come before in this listing. So before means at the top. It's a bit counterintuitive because before in this sense means newer stories and after means older stories because older stories come after in the listing. And that's the inverse of before and after in terms of time. But that's how it works. So let's see an example. Let's say that we want to get stories newer than the second item. And the only story newer than the second item is the first item, of course. So we can check that we get the same. So the first item has a title of Snake Rewind Hits the Play Store. So let's see if we say, give me all the stories before this one, if we get only one item that is that snake story. So if we say before that, then we can see that we get one item and the title is snake, rewind, whatever. So that's how it works. And if we pass after, we'll get stories older than this item that we used to. So let's see how we can use this in our application. So first of all, since we've seen that each item has a unique ID, we can take advantage of this to do an optimization. And that is, telling AngularJS to use this ID for indexing the items in the list. When we create our list and we say ng-repeat for each story in stories, we can add trackpy story.id. This is a performance improvement that I recommend doing if you know that your objects have a unique ID. Now let's have a look at infinite scroll. So there's some documentation on the Ionic website not just for CSS components, but also for JavaScript components like this Ion Infinite Scroll. And we can find an example here. So we need to add this snippet of code after our list. Let's try and do that. 
after the list we can add this ion infinite scroll and as you can see this is calling a load more function so we will need to define such a function in fact i'm going to rename this function to load older stories just to make it more explicit what it does and we can add the new function to our controller so we need a new function on the scope called load older stories and what do we need to do in this function well, we need to make the same HTTP GET call as before, except that we need to pass an extra parameter with the name of the last story that we got. So we only get older stories than the last one we already have. So let me move this into the function and we can pass parameters to the HTTP GET call by using the configuration object that we can pass as the second parameter to the get function. So we can pass a configuration object with these parameters. And the configuration object can have other objects inside, but we only need the parameters. And then we need to set the after parameter. So what should this be? First of all, we need to check if we already have some stories, because if it is the first time that this function is called, then the stories array will be empty. So let's check if the length is greater than zero. And if it is, then when we can set the after parameter to be the name of the last story. So that would be scope those stories with the index of scope those stories length minus one. That's the last index. And then we need to take the name. So this should work. We need another bit, which is broadcasting an event when we're done. So we need to broadcast this event saying infinite scroll complete to let the Ionic component know that we're done fetching new stories because it will display a little spinner while we're loading new stories and this will tell it to stop that. So at the end of our success function, we can do this scope broadcast. And with this, hopefully everything should work. So let's have a look at our running app again and make sure it's refreshing. So if we scroll at the end, after the first 25 items, when we get at the end, let's see, it does reload and you can see that it gets all the stories. You can tell by the time. The last one was eight hours ago and the first of the new ones says nine hours ago. So it's going back in time and it's working as we expect. And if we go again at the end, it should load another 25 stories. That's a day ago now and so on. So it's working as we wanted and that's great. The next thing we want to do is look at pull to refresh. So it's kind of the opposite of what we've done. We want to be able to pull down this list and get newer stories. So that's kind of similar. Let's go and uh, look at the Ionic documentation again. And this time we look at the Ion Refresher component. And again, we have an example and it's similar to the Ion Infinite Scroll, but we need to uh, put this one before our list. So let's go and copy and paste this one before our list component. And again, it's calling a function named do refresh. And I'll change this to say load newer stories. So it's clear that we now do two different things on load older stories and load newer stories. And let's go and add this new function on the scope again. So let's say load newer stories and now we need to do some refactoring here because we want to reuse the http get call but we need to do something different with the result that we get so let's see how we can do that so what i'm going to do is create a new function that will contain the common code and let's call this load stories and we want to pass the parameters so that when we load all the stories, we pass the after parameter. And for newer stories, we will pass the before parameter. And in here, we do the HTTP GET call, but we want to do something different with the result. Rather than appending each story to the scope.stories array, we want to create a new array. Let's start with an empty array here, and then we can append the stories to this new array. 
and we can return or pass back the stories to the caller function by adding a callback argument here. So we can do callback and pass our new stories. So we can modify the load older stories to call the new function by doing load stories with our parameters and then we can pass the callback that will receive the stories and these are the older stories that we get in this case and with this we can update the scope.stories variable by concatenating the existing stories that we have with the older stories that we just loaded. So by concatenating the two arrays we put the older stories after the stories that we already had in our array. And then at the end we also need to broadcast the event. So this should be the same thing as before except that we factored out the common code. And now we should be able to do something similar for newer stories. In this case we need to set a parameter that contains a before parameter and the before should be the name of the first story. So that would be scope.stories at index 0.name and we don't need to worry about the case where the stories is empty because we will only pull to refresh if there are already some stories in there and then we can call our common load stories function with our parameters and pass a callback function that will get our newer stories and in here rather than appending the stories that we get to the existing stories we need to do the opposite that is our new scope of stories will be the newer stories first and then concatenate the existing stories that we had before and at the end we also need to broadcast an event that is scroll.refresh complete so let's copy and paste this into our code so that should be it so we can open up our running app again and test if this is working to make things easier i'll change the subreddit from android to the funny one because there are a lot more stories posted all the time here. You can see that the most recent one was posted two minutes ago. And there are stories posted every minute pretty much. So first of all, let's check if the infinite scrolling is still working after our changes. And it seems to. We get older stories. And that's good. So let's try and refreshing. So the newest story was something about middle class two minutes ago. And there are no stories now. But I'll try again in a few minutes and see. So I paused the recording for a couple of minutes and now the latest story was updated four minutes ago. So we can try pull to refresh again and you can see that we get newer stories. And the one that was at the top before was this one about middle class. That's now uh, superseded by one, two, three, four new stories. So everything seems to work like we expected and that's great. So this is the end of this lecture. We've seen how to add pull to refresh and infinite scrolling thanks to the Ionic components that make this very easy. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and I'll see you on the next one.